I lost the contact to my family, whole family. I don't know where is my mom, where is my father, where is my brothers. Our culture, our identity, everything is getting destroyed. My father's older sister, her husband, and then their only son, three people from one household, one family, and then my father's younger brother and then youngest brother's son. Five people from three different families got sent to the concentration camp in one day. We don't have any choice to ask more questions. I tried to ask my mom about my uncles, but every time she just changes the topic because she knew that our phone call, our communication was monitored by the Chinese police. Every day, actually, I called my mom morning and evening every every day. But one day, I called my mom and my father. They didn't pick up. After the three days later, and my aunt's husband picked up. The phone just say, "Don't call us again." That's the last time I heard about my family. After that, I didn't hear any 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 news about my my mom, my father, my brothers. I really don't know where they are. Since I came to the United States in 2011, January, I used to talk to my mom every single day. One morning, I woke up and then there was a message on WeChat from her voice message, which saying that she's going to study at the school. That's how they call those camps. And then she said she's going to come back maybe in two or three weeks, and she has asked not to worry about her. So we waited, but after 22 days, she was released. She sends a video call again. I see my mom is crying there in our empty house. I can see that the fear, the worriness in her eyes, that she wanted to tell me something, but she just can't. I remember a couple times that she said, son, I know I'm in trouble because I'm talking to you right now, but I got no choice. I miss you a lot. So on February 6, 2018, I woke up and then I saw a message from my mom. It was 40 plus seconds where she was crying from beginning to the end, saying that she was going to the school again. She doesn't know if she can come back or when she can come back. It's really insane. Uh, 2019, and I can call my mom. My friend is just say, and I can't, I can't, as they talk about their family, and I said, don't talk about your family around, in front of me, because I, I can't call my mom. And they said, why? Do you, don't you have phone? Don't you have internet light? And I said, I have phone, I have money, but I can't call. We eat different than Han Chinese people, we speak a different language, we dress differently and we pray differently. It feels really weird and it feels really, how to say, like different and then hard to see that you are in your country, that you grow up and you speak the language, but you still like pushed as a foreigner or as forced as an outsider. So it kind of triggers your question in your mind that, okay, so where do I belong? Why am I getting treated as this? Like, is there any difference? We are a people with thousands of years of history. We have our own identity. It's a two years now I didn't hear my mom's voice. It's horrible. Sometimes I just dream my mom. And she says, I'm okay in my dream, but I know you're not okay. 